My name is Rod Emery. We're at Emery Motorsports, which is a Porsche restoration and racing company. This building is really my life's work. It's everything that I get up for in the morning, and it's everything that brings me joy. I've got my family around me. I've got the cars that I love. I grew up in a family of hot rodders and car enthusiasts. My grandfather had a shop, Valley Custom Shop, about five miles from here. My grandfather really mastered the craft of, of coach building and uh, built some of the most iconic hot rods of the 40s, 50s, and 60s. My father had a really cool little 65 911 that he had hot rodded out, and that was my ride home from the hospital. And yeah, my life began in the, in the back seat of a little 911, and I've been hooked ever since. When I was a young kid, I'd hang out in the workshop with, with both my dad and my grandfather, and when I was 14 years old, my dad helped me find an old vintage Porsche that was rusty and needed a complete rebuild, and, and that's where my life as a car builder began. 33 years later, and I've built a little over 220 cars from bare metal all the way to finish. So people come to us today and they, they want something special and unique, something that they can't just get off of a car lot. I never let time dictate the amount of work and craftsmanship that we're gonna put into these cars. It's really about building them exactly how we want them, and it's gonna take as long as it takes. My father, when he was parts manager at Chick Iverson Volkswagen Porsche, and then uh, Porsche Parts Obsolete, which was vintage Porsche parts, one of his good customers gave him uh, a Series 1 chronograph Porsche design watch in the late 70s, and he literally threw it in the drawer in about 1980. Being a kid of, you know, love mechanical things, I had bicycles and motorcycles, you know, here's this heavy watch that sat in this drawer. And so every day when I'd come home from school, I'd put it on and I'd, you know, wear it as I was playing around. And then I got a little more brave. And then, you know, before you know it, I was wearing it to school. Any chance I got, throw that watch on and pretend I was a, you know, a grown up. It ended up, I think, getting, uh, you know, lost or stolen when my parents moved. And my wife, we got married in 1996. And I told her, I said, someday I want, you know, a Porsche design watch just like my dad had. And so Amy got me this watch and uh, I enjoyed it for a number of years until she uh, eventually found me uh, a black one that was exactly like the one that my dad had. I have a son, Zane, who's 24 years old. He's always gravitated towards my Porsche design watches and you know whenever I see that he's going out on a date or he's got some special drive that he's doing you know I see my my watch case open and I can see that the slot is missing usually with that black um, series one chronograph so for his 24th birthday this year that was the gift I gave these are part of your soul, you know? I mean, anything that you wear, anything that you drive, it becomes a part of your identity and it becomes a part of your DNA. It's generational. These things can be passed down. Those are the things that matter, you know? Those are the things that you want because when you wear something that has a story or you drive something that has a story, then uh, it's everything. Zane has found that his passion is building cars and right here, um, you know, as part of Emory Motorsports. And my daughter Jade, after school, she made the decision that she wanted to work within the business. And so she now runs the back end of the business side of our, of our company. So uh, my wife and I are very fortunate because both kids have found their lane and it led right to Emory Motorsports. And now it's truly a four generation tradition.